to a 5 and 2 start in 2018, Squan scored an early run at RBC to take a 1 0 lead. The Casey start a rally in the fourth. Dan Ionelli lays down a perfect bunt. Hard to do that on the turf, but the ball stops on a dime. RBC loads the bases, and that sets the table for John Skirvonic. The fly ball to center, just deep enough to drive home Tommy Lang. We're tied up at one apiece. In the fifth, RBC threatens again. David Glancy on second. Vin Bianchi with the hot shot to third, but what a web gem by James Harmstead. That saves a run. Harmstead's great play keeps it a 1-1 game. Casey's starter Austin Nappy gave up a run and three hits in the first and then settled in. He is one of the most efficient hurlers in New Jersey. This one of his three strikeouts, we head to the bottom of the six, tied at one. And once again, it's Ionelli sparking a rally. It's a fair ball down the third baseline. Dan Ionelli on his horse and he's in with a double. RBC loads the bases again. This time it's Robert Gonzalez with a fly ball to center. Tommy Antonucci makes the catch and we've got to play at the plate. Nick Merlo safe at home. There's the go ahead run. The Caseys take a 2-1 lead. Then some insurance thanks to aggressive base running. The Caseys steal second, the throw to third heads into left field. Thomas Arthur makes it a 3-1 game. And Austin Nappy took care of the rest. The ground out to third, caps off a magnificent pitching performance. Red Bank Catholic gets a 3-1 win over Manasquan. Nappy throws a complete game three hitter. Only four Warriors reach space, and get this, it only took 72 pitches in a game that was an hour and 20 minutes. RBC improves to five and two on the season.